All right, guys, continuing. Scope mode. Uh, one thing I notice here is that uh, we don't have any way for our eyebrows. So we need to just lift this up a little bit. And just start pulling and pushing. Let's go ahead and turn on a wire so you can see because I don't know where the points are. Cool. That's better. Much better. And uh, I definitely don't want his eyes to be that big. So, further adjustments. Mm. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works. You can always undo it. Oh, got smooth on. Uh, back to wire. Alright. Zoom out really quick, see how that's looking. It looks better, yeah. It looks, it, it's because we don't want just a unbelievable character because that takes the whole point out of doing this. We just want, we want it to look kind of cartoony, but still kind of friendly in the end. That's what I want. Right now, let's fix this. He looks really bug-eyed because his. Yeah, we need to fix this. Up. That looks better. Let's go to edit mode for a minute. It'd probably be easier to just manipulate a couple of these better. Let's straighten this out a little bit, just so his expression uh, feels a little better. Oops, vertex paint. Scope mode. Okay, oops, sorry, I forgot to talk there for a minute. <laughs> there, that looks better. Okay, so um, one thing we need to do is uh, let's just bring this a lot up and just bring it down some. There, that way it looks a little bit more neutral. Another thing we need to do. Go back in over here. Let's go to draw. Uh, turn the strength down here, and let's just press F here, and let's just uh, hold Shift, and just start bringing this. Wait, what? Oh, not Shift. I'm sorry. We want Control. Hold Control, and uh, start bringing stuff. Just we want a crease here. Uh, for some reason, it's pushing in when I want it to push out. Hmm. Weird. Well, yeah, it was shift. That's what I was wondering. So, shift, uh, for some reason there, it was uh, having, when I had it on add, it would go in. So, shift to make it go in, and you just hold control to make it go out. Sorry if that was confusing. Um, yeah, it's starting to look better here. 
Um, look, look a lot better once we have teeth as well. It's gonna grab and move his chin out just a little bit. His chin isn't how I want it. At least not yet. It is. It's not. I mean. There he looks a little bit more like an adult. Finally. <laughs> Let's go ahead and inflate this. Well, for some reason, Blender is not functioning properly. So with inflate and draw and things like that, if I press, uh, normally it works as sub. So this is weird, so I have to have sub on for in order to act as add. Which is strange, but you know, what are you going to do? Hmm. Let's go ahead and get grab, move this around. Bring out his cheeks. Bringing his, I mean his cheekbones there. We might actually want to scale this up here. Let's go ahead and select this inner loop here and press Control plus plus. There, like that. Actually, we don't want that, right? There, maybe there. Control plus. Oops. Control plus plus. There we go. Press S. And press O. Oops, press O and then press S. Scale up a little bit. I just want to scale up his mouth a little bit. Okay. Okay, this character is coming along. Let's go ahead and shape, reshape his head a little. We're going to have to totally re-sculpt his muscles again. Okay, cool. Is, okay. We're going to have to model his ears very soon as well. We need to make this thicker. Let's go ahead and select this. And uh, turn off proportional editing. And thicken it up. Smooth it out. Actually, that that was a big waste of nothing. That was not worth it. Select this there. Then after, just let's deselect everything that we don't want, and we'll move this out here on its own. And then we'll select these here. Move them in. Yeah, now we have more of an eyelid. Um, bring this up here. Looks better. Looks a little old, but it's okay. Let's move this here. That looks better. Check what it looks like. Subs for three. This nose needs a lot of work. this. Let's bring this down. Let's shape this a little bit better as well. Okay, one more thing. Really, 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 really quick. Let's go ahead and select this face here. Press E to extrude the region. Smooth, smooth, smooth. SX. And then just bring it in on the Y. And then we get that there. And then we'll go ahead and smooth it out some. Maybe a little too much there. Oh wait, actually we can't do that right there because we have this pole. So we'll figure, out, figure that out in the next part. So. Save as. 
9. All right. Looking better. We're pretty much going through the whole sculpting process again, but that's what we need to do to make it look good. All right. Ugh. Press the wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So this is part nine, and be sure to watch the future parts of this uh, retopologizing and head uh, making tutorial. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.